Hi guys, it's Rebecca with Holy Rustic, where we teach um, all things DIY. And uh, tonight we're painting the page favorite. So we've done some voting in our group and on our page this week about our new kits. And the favorite seems to be this wagon wheel. So we're going to do a little farmhouse decor tonight. Um, I'm going to show you how to paint it. Now, you may not be able to tell from the picture, but this is a very layered piece. And when you order the kit, you get an 18 inch. So it's a lot bigger than what I'm painting tonight and definitely big enough for your door. Um, but for the sake of time, I usually scale it down when I'm painting on Facebook. So we're just doing a miniature version of our wagon wheel tonight. And I have started a little bit and done some of the um, little pieces. So, let me get all my techie stuff going here. I'm just painting the center this barn red color. And we're just gonna kinda get all the base colors on and then we'll go back and do some shading and highlighting and then glue it all together. If I can find some glue, cause I forgot to grab it. <laughs> I was scrambling here last minute because um, that's just kind of how I, I, I roll anyways, last minute everything. But I got distracted because we have another new lamb on the farm that was born this morning. So we had two last week and we had one this morning. And so I was out playing with all the babies. They're so cute. And I stayed out there too long instead of getting all my supplies together and ready for this class. <laughs> So, I guess it's appropriate that I'm painting a, a farmhouse wagon wheel tonight after playing with all our farm animals before it started pouring rain. So, I do need some help tonight. I need to know what color you think I should paint the welcome. Okay, so in the example, it's a blue um, with some white, but I need to know what color I should do tonight. We don't have to do blue. All right, so look at the layers here. You have this back piece like that. And we really don't need to paint that because it's gonna be covered. So we're gonna be covering it with this middle layer. Hi, Paula. Um, and that just gives it like some extra reinforcement. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to paint the outside of the bottom. We do need to paint these. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. And we'll just do this layer at a time. So I'm going to paint this center and that a light brown. And then you need to be thinking what color I should paint the welcome. Hi, Lindy. How are y'all tonight? So I'm just painting the, um, I don't, what do you even call those? I don't know what you call these pieces that connect all the wagon wheel together. I don't even know. I think what really makes this piece though is the sunflowers. Who doesn't love sunflowers, right? So it just kind of gives it that extra touch, not adding the sunflowers to it. I think it's raining here now. I can hear it pouring. It was really windy when we were outside. That's why my head, my head is a mess. My hair is a hot mess. <laughs> it's blowing everywhere while I was playing with the, the babies. We've had two girls and one little boy. And one of the, um, one of the, well, but actually both the girls are spotted. They're black and white. And then our little boy is all white so super cute any names we need names for them <laughs> a lot of our farm animals I don't name or get attached to you know because they don't they don't always stay around super long but our lambs our sheep do we keep them on the farm we don't have a whole bunch so we don't have to get rid of them so we name our sheep. <laughs> I, 
honestly thought about bringing one in and getting it on camera because it would it would just make your day. They're adorable. I might do that one day. <laughs> Show you one of the little lambs. My favorite part about spring is lambing season. Does anybody else have any farm animals? Am I the only one that's just crazy and li lives on a zoo? <laughs> So like I said, we're doing the base coat of everything first, and then we'll go back and add some um, different highlights and stuff. All right, so I'm just brushing on that light brown. I'm, I'm making it close to the example. I still don't know what color to do the welcome though. It was blue in the picture. I always lean out of the the frame here. <laughs> All right. So there's that. I'm pretty boring right now, right? But we are going to change that. All right. So I'm doing this piece brown. Um, I did this one, the barn red. So this is this middle piece. Oh. So this is a new thing that we're that we're doing. Um, so every month, when you know we add kits all the time. So every month, I'm going to um, post like a few of our new kits on our Facebook page and in our um, craft kit group, and then y'all can vote on which one's your favorite and whichever one wins. Um, we'll send out a BOGO coupon code for. Well, right now it's on text. So if you sign up for our text service, you'll get the you'll get a BOGO coupon code to use. Um, we do send deals out on email sometimes too. So if if you don't sign up for the text, you still get deals on email. But once a month, we'll do the BOGO for um, the whatever craft kit you all vote on. So I, it was definitely unanimous for the wagon wheel this week. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I don't have to paint this because this is going to be covered with our middle layer here. So see, now we have um, this background done and we need to do the outside. So this one was a darker brown. So I'm going to use Apple Barrel Burnt Umber, which is actually my favorite brown. So I use this a lot. Um... And I'm going to move this out of the way. So you can see we have all these layers for reinforcements. Um, it makes it more stable and less likely to break because of all the layers. So I don't need to worry about this because it's going to be covered up with this layer. So I don't want to paint. Um, I don't want to paint what I don't have to. Hey, Karen. Um, I got your message and I responded to that. So... I think it was email. Did you send me an email? I'm pretty sure I got a message from you and I know I responded. So make sure, make sure to check that. Okay. Um, let's work on the outside now. So I have the burnt umber and I'm just going to go around and paint that. So it's a little bit darker than the center and you could do it all the same color. But I'm just going to get this base coat, all these base coats on, and then we'll go back and do some of the distressing or some, add some white and give it that farmhouse look. Okay, so if you're just joining, I am painting a miniature version of our wagon wheel. So the one that comes in the kit is a big one. It's 18 inches for your door, and this is just a small version of that. It just saves time um, when we're live to do the smaller ones. Sure, no problem, Karen. Um, still no ideas for the letter. What color should we do the welcome? You want me to stick with blue like in the example? We can do the blue. I feel like I'm, I keep getting further out here. <laughs> I tend to lean when I paint. All right. So that's all I need to do with that because that's gonna, the rest of this is gonna be covered. So I'm gonna move my little layered sunflowers out of the way. 
And I did already paint these little baby flowers here. So they're white and I painted, I just went ahead and painted them um, to get that out of the way. So remember a lot of this will be covered but I'm gonna go ahead and use two different greens. Okay, so I like to use, um, gray might be cute. I like to use two different greens so that I get kind of a contrast on my leaves. So I just grabbed these two. We have a dark green and a light green. And I'm gonna go ahead and get both of those colors out. So the dark green and the light green. And then I'm gonna dip my brush in both colors. So I'm just using small flat brushes tonight or maybe I'll grab an angled brush. So this is what it looks like and what I'm gonna do is dip in both. So I want the dark green and, can you see that? <laughs> and a little bit of the light and I'm gonna brush it like this. So you can see both colors there. I don't necessarily want to blend them together. I just wanna show two colors. Okay, so it's just, it just gives it a little bit of contrast. So I just kind of brush that on so you can see both. I'm dipping in both colors. Gray might be cute. I am, um, I'd actually thought about adding some gray into the wagon wheel itself. But um, I think I'll stick with brown and white for that. Orange would be cute. I like that idea because I do tend to put a little bit of orange into my sunflowers. So that might bring out some of the orange in the sunflowers. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but by dipping in two shades of green, See how it's not just one solid color on the leaves so it just gives it a little bit more um it just makes it look better I like it the way better Karen you like the um, egg container so if you heard me talking about lambs in the farm you know we have chickens right <laughs> we have all kinds of birds so um, we have lots of cartons because we keep them, recycle them, and use them for our eggs. And of course, I also use them for painting. <laughs> so they're just perfect for separating your paint colors if you need to. Honestly, I use I use all kinds of stuff for my paint though. Um, not just egg cartons, whatever I can find. I use scrap wood sometimes to put my paint colors on. So some of my leaves are getting a little more of the light color and some of them are getting a little more of the dark and that's okay, that's what I want because I want this to look, um, you know, like a mixture of leaves. Graphite gray, yeah, like a dark gray, that would be cute. I tend to think of grays anyways when it's, you know, farmhouse decor. Like we have a windmill that we use grays on, like a windmill door hanger. It's very farmhouse, has that farmhouse look. We use lots of grays on that. I had even thought about using like a copper um, for the welcome or maybe even brushing copper into the wagon wheel almost to look like a little rust or something. I don't, but that wouldn't make sense, would it? I just think it sounds fun. <laughs> it may not make sense, but I still like the idea of it. Sunflowers are my favorite thing to paint. So we'll get to those in a minute. After we get these leaves done. What do y'all think about these um, contrasting colors? Like them? I think it's looking good. There are some like little berries here. I don't know. I could paint them red or... What do you think? Should they be red berries? That just seems too Christmassy to me. I'm all about spring after, you know, months of orange, reds, greens. <laughs> so I don't even want to put red and green together. I think on the example they were, what color were they? Maybe like an ivory or gold kind of look. So 
So I'm just going back and kind of brushing some of the light green where the dark, um, where there's a lot of dark. White berries, that'd be cute. I think I'll do that. I like that idea. All right, so just brushing some, going around and doing some touch-ups. Y'all probably can't even see that. I have a tendency to get my wood right under my face. <laughs> Especially when I have my glasses on. <laughs> All right. So I think the sunflowers are going to cover up the rest of that. So I'm not even going to worry about doing any more of those. I'm just going to put this to the side to dry. And then I'll go back and do the white. I like the white berries. Warm white. Copper. Yeah. See? I mean, you're not going to really see that color probably on wagon wheels. But I don't know. I'm feeling the copper today. Like I have this um, penny. It's, it's called New Penny, I think. Yep, Metallic New Penny. And I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, that would be cute, like, rubbed into the, you know, kind of brushed on as an accent on the wagon wheel. But I don't know. It might be weird. You know, what I'm going to do, now that this is dried, I can see some spots. So I'm just going to do some touch-up. And it looks like I grabbed the wrong brush. <laughs> so I've already got some white now brushed into my brown. Jumped ahead of myself there. All right, so I'm just doing some touch up because this wood tends to soak up the paint. I don't know where I'm picking up this white. Oh, there it is. It snuck in on my brown, it kind of um, <laughs> oozed over the egg, content, that egg compartment, and um, mixed with my brown. So that's all right because we're gonna brush white on there anyways. You saying yes to the copper again, Karen? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that's feeling the copper tonight. Okay. I'm gonna, this lighter color definitely became kind of transparent here. So I'm going to touch this up. So in this kit, you get everything except paint brushes. So you get all the paint that you need all the pieces, twine to hang it, glue. Um, so all you'll need is brushes. Okay, that should be good. Two coats should, should be good there. Lynn, do you like the copper too? Okay, well I might just brush them on and we'll see what it looks like. It's an experiment. Y'all know I was a science teacher, <laughs> so I love experiments. <laughs> In fact, I could mix science and art. I just write a whole, you know, scientific report, hypothesis, uh, use a scientific method, all of it. <laughs> to get my paint experiments done. I'm good with that. All right, so what I have for my sunflowers is a gold this is a golden sunset from Apple Barrel. I have sunny day and I have a little bit of orange. And with the orange, I kind of do what I did with the greens and I just dip like the yellow and the orange together. But I think what I want to do is paint this bottom part, the gold. So I'm just going to paint the whole bottom gold and most of that's going to be covered up. So I'm not going to worry too much about seeing it you know about what it looks like I just want to get a solid coat of gold on this bottom layer of the sunflower okay so I'll do that for all three of them and we have two small ones and a bigger one so there's two I think that are the same size and then and the bigger sunflower
Okay, there's that one, one more. So what do we decide on the welcome? Orange, because we're almost to it. I wonder if the welcome would look good in copper. Do you think that would be too much or would that be cute to paint the whole welcome in copper? What do you think about that? Of having the welcome in copper instead of just brushing it into the wagon wheel. Or we could do like the barn red. I have a barn red here that we could do the welcome in. Kind of stick with that farmhouse um, theme. Okay. So we're pretty much done with these. We're not going to do any, anything else because most of these are going to be covered. So I'm just going to let those dry and then we're going to use this lighter yellow and a little bit of the orange um, to do our sunflowers. So let me make some space in my egg carton here. So a little bit of yellow. I always get too much paint. Look at <laughs> You'd think after years of painting I would be able to gauge what I need better instead of <laughs> getting so much out and then I have to scoop it back in the bottles because who wants to waste paint, right? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the greens and I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm dipping in the yellow and then a little bit of orange. I really don't want much orange at all. So just the corner and I am going to end up going back and, and painting the center brown but because that's a darker color, I'm not going to worry about, um, I'm not going to worry about, you know, getting the yellow in the center here. So I got not enough orange. I cannot even see it. So what I'm going to do is pick up a little more. Let me go ahead and do a coat of this light yellow. And then I'll brush in a little bit of orange. So I'll give it a base coat and then I'm just going to dip in that orange. Because these are so small, the orange probably won't make that much of a difference. But when I paint the big sunflowers, the orange is really pretty in the sunflowers. So I'm, I'm not blending it, I'm just kind of brushing it. Um, kind of a dry brush. Just real subtle hints of the orange. You may not even be able to see that in the camera. So what do you think about this contrast? Is that good or is there too much? I feel like there's a lot. I might pick up a little bit of this gold and brush it. Just a little bit and brush it in here. That might kind of tie it together a little more. Um, the shapes are fourth inch laser cut shape. So yes, for the kits, we use fourth inch. This I think is eighth inch. Because like I said, I just cut a smaller example for the um, live. For the BOGO, you can text um, Holy Rustic to 474747. And those are sent to your phone. Okay, so this time I picked up the light yellow and the gold. Yeah, so we'll be doing the BOGO once a month now. So whatever um, kit is voted on on our page, we're going we're gonna to text a BOGO code. And that way you can uh, grab a friend. You know, you can have girls night. <laughs> you can get with family or friends at your house and have a paint night. You know, things have just changed. We don't get together like we used to. So I just think it's, even if you don't want to like get out and go somewhere, I think it's good for, I just think, I feel like we as women really just need company and other women. So that's really, I just want to give a BOGO deal so that you can order these kits and have a good night. You know, drink your coffee or your wine and paint and have some fun. Because listen, <laughs> I work a lot, okay? I mean, a lot. <laughs> I 
I'm ashamed how much I work. But anyway, so I really haven't, um, you know, with COVID and everything, I haven't got out and seen anybody or done anything lately. But I finally took a night and um, went out with one of my friends last week. And I didn't even know how much I needed that. Like, it's been so long since we just went out and hung out. And I was, like, surprised at how much... I needed that and I didn't even realize until after we were done I mean just laughing and you know having dinner and it was just such a good time and I was like wow you know I've kind of just worked so much since COVID and stuff hit I just didn't even realize that how much I was missing interaction so anyways I got way off track but <laughs> that's why I want to do this BOGO code once a month so you know you can get two of the same things grab your drinks a friend and just get together, you know, just have a night together with laughs and fun. Okay, so I definitely went off on a tangent, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just adding a little more orange. I just want to get this the way I like it. Once I start adding colors and doing stuff like this, I could go on forever, y'all. <laughs> just keep painting. I'm like, well, this might look better if I put a little more of this on there so I'm one of those <laughs> sometimes I don't want to stop I'm like what else should I do to this so I'm gonna have to put it down and walk away dry brushing it a uh, deep cranberry where should where should we put the cranberry on the wagon wheel is that what you're saying oh I didn't even do the third sunflower look I started talking <laughs> And I forgot I wasn't even done with the sunflowers. Oh my goodness. All right. Just get this on real quick. So I'm using, I ended up using three colors. So not just the yellow and the orange. I'm also using the gold. Just to give it some more contrast. way too much orange so I will um, just add some yellow oh you think cranberry on the flower Karen thank you is it coil coila that's pretty I'm probably not saying it right but um, I really like it it's unique okay well let's it's a science experiment all right let's brush a little cranberry so this this is that barn red so that's way too much let me get some yellow again Hmm. I'm not sure with the, well, maybe if I hadn't done the um, orange and the two yellows already. I'm not sure. It's kind of all just blending together now. Okay, I probably spent way too much time on those sunflowers. So here we're going to go ahead and do the centers of the sunflower so I'm gonna stick with the dark brown that I did on um, this piece of the wheel let's do a dark brown right in the center of the sunflowers and actually I might put a little copper in the center of the sunflowers I think that would be cute all right so dark brown this is my burnt umber and apple barrel and I'm just gonna Brush that on. Oh, that's the one that has the white in it. That on it. I forgot about that. Okay, well, it'll just be a little lighter than I wanted it to be. Oh, these, so the center is actually engraved onto the wood. So that makes it a little easier for you to follow and do, um, Kind of a straight <laughs> a straight circle that doesn't make any sense does it <laughs> oh my goodness you do a straight circle let's just say a good circle i don't think you can do a straight circle <laughs> oh my at this at this point in the day 
<laughs> I'm a little delirious. Y'all don't mind me. Okay. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some copper. So once this dries, I'm going to dot some copper in the center of that, and that'll make it kind of look like some seeds. So I think that'll be cute. Can y'all even see this? I keep getting closer and closer to me. So I'm just using a flat brush and following the lines um, in the center of the sunflower. And I just rotate the wood. All right, so there's the second one and we have one more. So definitely the sunflowers are the most time consuming part of this project, but they're so fun. So fun to paint. Be painting lots of sunflowers next week with um, the Creative Outlet subscription box people that was the theme for the month was sunflowers we just started it's brand new we haven't even advertised it yet other than to our email subscribers and um it was full but we're going to open it back up this month for april so it'll be open on the 16th we'll um, add some more boxes but yeah it was all sunflowers this month Okay, so we have our centers done. What's left? Oh, we need to brush on the white. Oh, did you order your wagon wheel kits? Yay! Thank you. You're gonna love it. They're so cute. All right, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do next. Um, let's do some brushing of the white onto the wheels. Trying to remember how I had the example. I forget. Y'all paint so much, so much stuff during the day. I just stuck my finger in that center. Let me fix that real quick. If I'm not covered in paint, y'all know I'm on vacation. Because <laughs> I'm always covered in paint. So if I'm, I'm on vacation, that's the only time I'm not. All right, so we have our green. Oh, and we have the berries we needed to do too. Let's go ahead and do that. I have a ton of white in this um, egg carton here. So I'm just gonna use, uh, this is MDF wood, Karen. We use, we use MDF and plywood for our projects. And this one is MDF. All right, so I'm just painting these little berries white. And probably um, they'd be cute as like a, an ivory, like an off-white, but I poured way too much white in my tray, so I'm just gonna do the white. And that's what I'm gonna use to brush on the wagon wheel anyway, so. That'll kinda tie it in. All right, so I really like our leaves. I think those are cute. I missed a couple spots though. Let me fix that real quick. So a couple spots here. Once it dries, you can really see where you missed. All right. Okay, so I think we're done with this piece completely. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna bring this back over um, trying to remember. So normally I really like to dry, br dry brush with a fan brush. Oh, like this. So I like the fan brushes for the, um, the outside. Um, to order this, you go to holyrustic.com. So that's our website. And then, um, there should be a button that says shop our stuff. So click on shop our stuff and then, did you get it? And then um, order a craft kit. So from our website, holyrustic.com, go to order a craft kit. What's that link? I'm, I can't tell. It just says thank you page. Did you, did you find it? All 
All right, let me try this. This is not the fan brush I wanted to use, but what I'm gonna do is dip my fan brush in the white, and then I'm going to wipe the excess off. So I'm, I'm just on my egg cart and I'm getting all that excess off. And then what I'm gonna do is brush, brush it on. So see, that kind of gives you that distressed look really easily. So I don't want it loaded, you know, I don't want a ton of paint on my brush, so that's why I did the, um... oh, thanks for posting that, Karen. Is it, is it Koila? Am I saying that right? I love that name. That's so pretty. Um, yeah, so just, if you have any problems, just shoot us a message. Okay, so I'm just dipping in the white. I know you can't see this, so I'm gonna move this. So what I did is dip in the white with my fan brush. This is my favorite for a distressed look. And then just wipe this off, get all that excess off here. And then, hi Jen. Yes, you caught me. <laughs> Welcome. Um, see, what do you think? Isn't that fun? So it's just like the perfect amount, I think, of white. We use this brush a lot on our ceramics too, to, to dry brush, or I use it a lot, I love it. See, I got way too much here, so this one is really, really bright. I'm just gonna go back with some brown in a minute and uh, make that less noticeable there. So that's the good thing about paint. You can fix anything. Get it too dark, just add some of your base color back in, get it too light, and, um, you know, just add more. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but now with the fan brush, we have um, white mixed in with a distressed look. This one's way too dark, but I don't like it. So I'm going to um, grab a brush and go back to my light brown. And I'm just going to add some of that light brown back in so that it's not so bright. And then I may even go back over it when it's dry with some more white if it needs it. Okay? So I think that one's good. Now we want to do some um, distressing on the on this one. And remember I accidentally picked up some white already with that. So... There's already a little bit in there. I'm trying to remember how I did the example. Let me look. Yeah, so we do have some distressing here. Oh, and then we have the copper to try too. I need y'all don't let me forget that copper. All right, so I'm just doing the same thing. So fan brush and put it on. So again, remember if you order the kit, that's the only thing you have to get is brushes. Everything else comes in the kit. Um but I think everyone should have a fan brush. So if you're picking some up, make sure you have one of these. They're amazing. Okay, so there's our, yes, this is burnt umber. Uh, the dark, this one is burnt umber and white. And then the light brown is the nutmeg. If you order the kits though, you'll get these in your kit. So you don't have to buy the paint. It comes with them. Okay, so I think we decided we're doing the copper, right? I have not tried this. I don't know what it's going to look like, so we will see. Let me shake this up. I found this a while back at Target, and I never know what to use it for. I don't even remember what I, why I got it. There was some project I was doing, and I ended up not using it. Yeah, it's nutmeg, apple, bar apple barrel nutmeg. Okay, so I do know, I think I'm done with my, we've distressed everything we're distressing, right? Actually, I might go around the edges of this. I'm just going to put, so I'm not doing it on the center. I'm just going around the outside and brushing some of that white on, just like this. So just on the edges, not really in the center. And these are just the round pieces that are gonna go in the, in the middle. And I might do that again on this. So let me just brush a little bit 
on here. Sometimes my little bit turns into a lot. <laughs> I naturally have a heavy hand, so sometimes I have to go back and fix. All right. I think I'll be fine. All right, let's try this copper. What I want to do. Um, I'm just going to get a flat brush and kind of go sideways with it, I think. Let me see what I got here. Okay, so let me know what you think. I'm just going to dip a little bit in here. And I did have some scrap. Hold on. Had some scrap wood here. So this is what it looks. It looks just like a penny. All right, so let's brush some on. Oh, yeah, I think I like that. That's cute. So I just am kind of doing a dry brush onto the wagon wheel so that it's not overpowering. Oh, man, I like that. What do you think? How fun. So, um, I'll give you, I'll go ahead and give you the promo code tonight. Um, it's just wagon wheel because, you know, my creativity only, it, it starts and ends with crafts. <laughs> I don't get creative with the promo codes. But, um, for the, for the BOGO that we're doing every month, you'll want to sign up for the, for the text messages. So you can just text Holy Rustic to 474747 and you'll get the BOGO code every month. And I promise we won't harass you. <laughs> We're just using that to send reminders for our lives before we get on and paint. And then for our um, that BOGO code that we're going to do monthly. Alright, what do you think about the copper? Can you even see it? So it's real light. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. I like it. I think it looks really good in person. I don't know if you're getting the full effect on the camera, but that is super cute. In fact, I, I'm trying to decide. I wonder if, I think I'm going to get everything together and then do the welcome so I can see what it looks like. Okay. So I think we're pretty much done. Let's, let's start piecing. Oh, let's start piecing this together. Okay, so remember it's layered for that extra support. Can you see this? I have so much crap <laughs> everywhere. My, it's awful. All right, let me clear some space. Um, oh, let's do this. So here's how I like to put the um, seeds in the center of the sunflower. I'm going to use the end of the paintbrush here, and I'm going to dip it into, I'm going to use the copper. So I'm just going to dip that and use the end and then touch it to the center of the sunflower like this and just give it some seeds. Actually, I think that needs something else too. So let's do the seeds and then I have another idea. All right, so dip this in. Just use the, the bottom of the brush to do some little circles in the center, like that. Love this copper, so cute. Just like with all my other craft supplies, I just, um, you know, hold on to them for two years until I need them, right? <laughs> Lots of craft supplies. I just can't get rid of them. I might need them one day. Am I the only one? <laughs> okay, I think what I'm going to do too, I'm getting a collection of brushes here. All right, let me wipe that off. And then I'm going to, I think it will look good to do a... The same thing, like right around here in the center with the dark brown. So I'm going to dip this in the dark brown and I'm going to do some circles around it just to, 
I need a bigger brush. Let me switch out. So I want something with a bigger end. All right, so we're just touching and going around this edge of the center right here. Probably should have used a little bit of light too to kind of break it up. This may not this may not enhance it at all. Let's just see. I might be out of paint. I feel like these sunflowers need something else. I just don't know what. All right, so that's just something you can do. I might finish that up here when we're done on the other two. Okay, so can you see that? I'm not sure if that helps or hurts. All right, let me find my glue and we can start gluing. That's one thing I forgot to grab when I was um, playing with the lambs and Russian. Okay, I have two different ones here. So normally, I use E6000. It is the best glue that I've found, especially for door hangers. The only downside of the E6000 is that it doesn't set right away. So if you glue something, you have to leave it flat for, you know, a couple hours or your pieces will slide. All right, let me see if this is working. And all, this is the glue that you get in your kit. So. Let me get this going here. I don't think I've used this one lately. A little of this goes a long way. So I'm just gonna flip this over and we're gonna, you wanna keep the, um, the glue kinda in the center of the wood piece because this does ooze out so you don't want to put a ton um because it'll ooze out the sides 24 hours is a good rule of thumb with e6000 so if you try to hang it too soon all your pieces will just <laughs> slide right off so what i do a lot of times because we use this on all of our orders and products um is i'll glue it and then put like i use uh, vegetable cans so <laughs> it's not uncommon for you to see my projects with like soup cans and vegetable cans sitting all over uh, my pieces just to hold them together until they set. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. So put that there. And then this little piece. So I got that in the center, I'm just gonna wipe Wipe that off so we don't see it. Okay, so there's that. Now we wanna do our leaves. So we just wanna make sure this is layered right so it looks the way it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna put, you know, small dots of glue. So the top leaves here touch the wood on the bottom layer um, but the bottom leaves hang off, so I'm not going to put any glue on those because they're not touching anything. So let's see. All right, and then we want to line this up. So just like that. Oh, it's looking so cute. What do y'all think? Like it? All right, and then we have our sunflowers. So we've got, we need to glue them together first. So we're just gonna kind of offset these a little bit. Let me move this where you can see. <clears throat> All 
Oh, I smeared that. Right on it. So I'll go back and fix that when we're done, too. Okay, so there's the big one, which goes in the center here. And then the last one. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, so now I'll glue those onto the leaves. And then we have all these little white flowers to kind of spread around. Let me go ahead and get these on. So it, it, just I like to place everything and kind of see where I want it before I commit. <laughs> I definitely have commitment issues when it comes to placements. <laughs> all right, so there's that. And see how they're sliding? Just gotta be careful. One more. Okay, they're so cute. I'm gonna go back at some point. I messed this up, so I'm gonna fix that. But I might go back and put like some little, um, I need to find my fine brush. But I might add a little copper to the leaves. I'll always, I'll post a picture when everything's done and we'll show you what the end product looked like. So I'm just gonna kind of follow my example here. So we have all these little white ones to add. And you could put yellow centers on the white ones if you wanted to. So you could add um, a little more color. I remember where I stuck them. Yeah, the, the white, I think that really adds some character. Yeah, Karen, it's always nice to walk away sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you just have to. It is amazing, though, what fresh eyes can do. Sometimes you walk away and you go back and it's like looking at it through, you know, a different lens. All right, I love that white, so cute. All right, um, so all we have left now is the welcome. What do you think about copper or barn red or even somebody said orange earlier? I think I'm gonna commit to the copper. I can always paint over it. Let's try it and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna We may hate it, but we'll see. All this talk of copper, I think there should be a pop of copper color on here. Oh, I don't like this brush. Let me find something else. I don't know how. Those are like the kids' brushes that we use. I don't know how they got in my stash here. I don't have any little ones with me. We've been painting um, reversible port signs <laughs> from sun up to sundown this week and so my brushes are kind of spread out because those take up a lot of space so we have them everywhere when we're painting them. I think I think I'm gonna like the copper. Oh I should have tried it on the back first huh? I didn't even think of that. I think I'm gonna like it though. <clears throat> So, because our um, wood pieces are laser cut, I don't ever worry about the sides. I just leave those the um, black because they get really dark when they're burned by the laser. So, I try to leave them that way. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I should have made a big one so I could hang it on my door. Now I'm gonna want one for my front door. 
um, that I'm not selling. That's the problem with making this stuff is I want one of everything. <laughs> really <clears throat> like the metallic. I feel like I've been using a lot of metallics lately. Usually, I, usually my go-to is gold. Almost done. We could brush, do some dry brushing with the white onto the letters like in the example um, if we wanted to. So I'll end up gluing that on. What do you think? That's so cute. I love it. I love the copper. I know you probably can't, I don't know if it's coming across on the camera or not, but we have those. We brush that copper into the wagon wheel. So I think it really ties the word welcome in with the wagon wheel. This is so cute. I love it. All right. Anything else I need to do? <laughs> Lindy, you, it, it is easy. You can do it. Just uh, watch with me and paint along. Just takes practice, you know? So, so cute. All right. Well, I guess we're done here. So, make sure um, to order if you want. The BOGO code is Wagon Wheel uh, because, you know, not very creative tonight as far as the promo codes go. <laughs> and sign up for the text if you want to make sure you don't miss our BOGO kit of the month. Otherwise, um, I hope you all have a great night and a good weekend if I don't see you. And we'll probably do something again next week. So thanks for joining me tonight. Had fun. Bye.